Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up two-factor authentication for Upmax. The hardest part of this is to find the link to the new Upmax site that does this. Um, so I'll have it here, I'll paste it under the video and I'll go to it now and I'll walk through step by step how to get your two-factor authentication for Upmax. For example, to get into Bianca or to get into Rackham, the uh, desktop environment from the website. Um, so I do everything from scratch. Uh, let's go through it. Yeah, it's important to do. One, we need to select an app to use. So I use an app on my mobile phone for two-factor authentication called Free OTP uh, because it's free and open source. Uh, you can pick your app that you want. And then you need to go to this website. Go to Super Integration, Upmax, UUSE, Bootstrap, OTP, whatever that is. So I go to in this page and it looks a bit weird to me. I don't know why it looks this weird. But at least it says here you can request a second factor authentication for Upmax account. So I guess I need to click continue here. So if you already have a two factor authentication account, like I have, um, you can soon throw that one away and use only this new one. So I'm going to do that now. Um, so whatever I have on my mobile fine phone with free OTP, I don't need it anymore. I can delete it now, um, but I can't see show that. So I click continue and let's get going. So I first need to go into super, super organizes uh, permissions to uh, computer clusters in Sweden in general. And for that, you need to log in using a two-factor authentication. And I'm from um, Uppsala University, Uppsala University. And there we, already that one has its own login. Um, uh, let's do this. Uh, this is the regular login for there. And um, here you need a two-factor authentication from Super or Super Nice or Snake. For me, it's called super and I subtitled as uh, my email address, S-U-P-R, so super. And that's how it shows up on my two-factor authentication app. And I fill in the number 774643. And now I'm in super nice. And this is used so that Upmax, like I, because I want to make an Upmax two-factor authentication, now Upmax says, ah, all right, this is a, th we can trust this person and I'm going to prove my identity to Upmax here. And now this is the magic. This is if you scan this with your two factor authentication app number, uh, two factor authentication app, and give the code there, then it will work. And you can throw away the old. Um, so I already will throw away my old number now so that I'm sure that the, this will work. So in my app, I'm going to add a new two factor authentication, authentication number. You by scanning, so I need to hold my mobile phone pointing to, to that thing, to the QR code. And now I have a new two-factor authentication number added. I need to click on it to see the number. Um, and now I need to fill it in to confirm that in really drug 979201, submit. All right. So now it says, thanks for verifying your OTP token has been registered and will be activated soon. Um, this means now you have to wait. So this takes about 15 minutes uh, before you can actually use it. I will show you that it doesn't work yet. So two things will happen. You'll, yeah, you'll receive an email that it works again and from that moment on it will work again. I'm going to show you that now it doesn't work yet. So I need to go to start a VPN. I'm going to log into Bianca. Bianca is one of our clusters that always needs two-factor authentication. Um, and it has a very, uh, very useful uh, user interface to see this. So I'm going to show you that it does not work yet. Because it takes about 15 minutes. Also here we need to log in. Now we need to log in with the uh, with the Uppsala University VPN thing. So that's with that is with Microsoft Authenticator. That's um, another thing for seven four five one three. Yeah. So you need a lot of two-fact authentication things nowadays. Um, it's it is what it is. So now I'm on 
the university network using a VPN, that's great. Now I can go to bianca.upmax.uu.se and I type in my username. If you're really quick, there doesn't pop up anything. Um, I don't know why this is the case, I guess because you for a short while don't have access to these projects because you don't have a two-factor authentication number yet. Um, I just pick anyone. Here it comes in my Upmax password, that is secret. And now I'm going to use the two-factor authentication number I just scanned the QR code of. But it doesn't work yet. Uh, maybe I'm lucky, maybe we find out it works. 033007 there and I think it should like last time I tried this it failed um, yeah correct here authentication failed in this case it means hey dear user wait 15 more minutes and it will work um, so you can look at the time it's now 1302 I'll be back at 1315 and I will try again until then I stop this video so see you soon hi so 15 minutes have passed 15 that is um, let's see if it now works. My uh, two-factor authentication number. So I'm gonna return to login. Uh, things are still the same. Let's use my new two-factor authentication number uh, again. Nine five one seven eight three. Enter. And yes, we are in Bianca. So Bianca has two steps to log in. So you just type in your Bianca password. And there, I am on Bianca. Um, let's verify it works for Rackham too. Uh, Rackham gui.upmax.uu.se. So this works, this is Bianca. Uh, it's hard to see, but it's Bianca. Let's take a look. This is a terminal on Bianca. It already says here, Richard Sands. It's a typical sensitive data project, a typical Bianca project. Yeah, so this is on Bianca. I've done this. Now let's use Rackham. So Rackham also has two-factor authentication nowadays. Your username is your username. Now you need to type your password and two-factor authentication number. Let's do that. Uh, so first, your Rackham password. And there, my newest two-factor authentication number, 270143. Just connect it. And now I should be able to log in to Rackham. Let's take a look if this also takes 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, that looks great. I'm in Rackham now. Let's double check. Uh, you want to be sure that I'm in there. But you already see at the top, Risha at Rackham 1.upmax. Uh, you see that there's more stuff there on Rackham because it's more. And here I am absolutely on the, the Rackham login note. So with this video, I've showed you how to set up two-factor authentication for Upmax. The hardest part is to find this page on the newest uh, location. Uh, and with that, I wish you a very good day. Bye.